Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be talking about how to get your F2 profile. So I've noticed a lot of people, they've been asking me how to get this picture. You can see that I have a uh, anime profile picture over here and I'm going to teach you how to do it. So the first step is the most difficult step. It's you actually have to find a picture that you like. Make sure that it is in portrait mode, which means it's like standing up because you can see that the proportions over here, it's like a, it's, it's narrow, it's long. It's not like a landscape, it's a portrait. So the second step is you come over here to this website. It's over here, it's befunky.com. And then you can click upload. Once you click upload here, you can click on my computer and then you can upload whatever picture that you got. So this is the picture that I'm, or I'm gonna use. So after you've got your picture that you like, the next thing is uh, cropping. You click crop over here. So after you click crop over here, the width you want to set it at 378 and then the height you want to set it at 620 and then you want to lock aspect ratio. Make sure to do this. So after that's done, you can move this box around and crop whatever picture you want. But let's say like in my case, you see if I crop it here, I'm going to be cutting out all of this stuff, but I want the picture to actually show her gun and her little ponytail and all the kawaii-ness of this, right? So I'm going to cancel this and I'm going to resize the picture. In order to fit the entire picture in, we're going to have to resize it. So you can see that resizing over here that I, the height here is already at 768. So I don't want to make this lower than 620 because if this goes lower than 620, it's going to look really ugly on my profile picture. It's going to be like, it's going to be cut off because it's not long enough. So I want to make sure that this height is 620 and, and not less. So I'm going to type 620 here and I'm going to keep locked aspect ratio ticked. So it's automatically going to make this height 620. So you can see that it's a lot smaller now. Then I can zoom in here. However, the smaller you make the picture, the more pixelated it's going to look because it's squashing the picture down. So just make sure that you don't make it too small or if the picture that you get, the resolution is not too high. For example, if you get a 4K resolution picture, it's not going to work very well. And then I crop the picture. So again, over here, you want this to be 378 and you want the height to be 620. And then you can click lock ratio and you can see that now I can crop most of the picture in. So I think I'm just going to save with this. So after you've cropped it correctly, you click on the tick button and boom, it'll, it'll be cropped. So now that this is cropped, you can just save it on your desktop or if you want to do anything else. So for in my case, I'm going to do a little squiggly stuff. So I'm going to add a little bit of text here and then I'm going to change the font color to purple since I like purple. I'm going to drag this to the top over here, maybe put a little tilt to it for some style points. And over here, I'm going to type my youtube.com slash karaoke just for, you know, selfless advertisement. I want the background color to be white, so it blends in. And once once that's all done, you can see this is my final product, and I'm gonna click save. So just save to my computer. Just make sure that you save the picture as a JPG, not a PNG. PNG messes things up. Just make sure it's a JPG save. So after you saved it on your desktop, it'll pop up here. So we can see this is what the original picture looked like. So you can see this is what the original picture looked like. And this is after the edit. You can see that it's a lot smaller now and it's also a lot longer. So now the next thing that you want to do with this picture is you want to make sure that the aspect ratio is correct. You do this by right clicking on it, open with over here, and you want to open it with paint, with Microsoft Paint. If you're using Windows, which hopefully most of you guys are, you just right click on it, open it with paint, and it'll tell you right here at the bottom corner that your aspect ratio, just make sure that it says 378, this is the width of the picture, and 620, which is the height of the picture. As long as it says 378 times 620, you are okay. So now you can close this and just make sure that this picture is saved somewhere where it's easily accessible. Next thing you want to do is you want to open this website, which is BNS profile, bns-profile.search.sh. Once you have this web page open, you now go to your BNS folder. So your BNS folder is going to be, you're going to click here to folders. And next thing you're going to do is you're going to come to pictures and then you're going to go to BNS. So once you go to BNS, there's going to be a bunch of screenshots. If you took any screenshots in game and there's going to be customized character, customized character slot and summon shot. I don't know if you have summon shot, 
but then you need to find a valid blade and soul character shot. So that will be here, character shot. Once you come in here, you're gonna you're gonna need to take a screenshot of your character in game. So if you do not have that folder, if there's no character shot folder, come over here and read help. Uh, read the help page over here, and then over here there will be a step by step from here on how to proceed. You have to take a screen. You have to take pictures in game, following these steps over here. And after you do that, you will this folder will pop up with some pictures inside, which you can use to as a valid uh, BNS character shot. Next thing over here, you want to uh, put your image, your new image. So in my case, I put it here on the desktop, BNS display picture, and then you click convert. After you've clicked convert, it'll combine the two images together. You right click on it, and then you go uh, save image as, and then you can save this as BNS display picture final. So now that you have BNS Display Picture Final, you want to drag it into your folder over here. At the, you want to put it into your BNS Character Shots folder over here. You can just drag it in like that, and voila, it's done. So now when you launch the game, you will now be able to pick this as a display picture. So let me just show you that now. So once you're in game, like I am now, you press F2. So you'll see that your profile loads up over here, and then it'll say here to take a picture. So what you can do is you click on this button and you see right here, my BNS display picture final has popped up. You just click registered. When you click register, your computer is going to freeze for a second because it's uploading the new picture as replacing it. Just don't worry about it. Just wait patiently. You don't need to freak out. It does take a while, so don't worry about it. Once it's success, it'll say uploaded character photo. Sometimes it failed. Mine failed the first time. This is the second take over here. Once it says a success, you want to click over here. There's a refresh button. You click on the refresh button. Again, it takes some time. And you can see that my picture hasn't updated yet, but it's okay. It will update eventually. And if your picture hasn't refreshed yet, it doesn't matter. Just wait. It might take a couple minutes because the servers are a little bit slow in updating. Do you see that damage? We only won because of me. But that's about it. And you're done. Now you just, you just play, go on your merry way. And after a couple minutes, I think it takes like 10 to 15 minutes, your F2 profile picture over here will change. And that's about it. Anyway, this video took a lot longer than I thought it would take. And yeah, anyway, I hope this video helped and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. What can I say except you're welcome for the heals the boost so